Okay, so today we are going to start a batch of something I've never done before that is supposed to be a really, really tough tumble. Um, it's Labradorite. Um, I've also got some Rainbow Moonstone, which is just a different kind of Labradorite. Um, a couple other random Moonstones. I may throw one in just to see how they work too. I think they're called Peach Moonstone. Uh, but those can all be tumbled together. Um, so I'm going to start, I'm, I'm going to use my three pound Harbor Freight tumbler barrel. Tumbler right here. Uh, let's just load this up with pieces. We'll do one of the peach pieces. These are supposed to be really challenging to get without a lot of fracturing. And I found a couple different philosophies. I'm going to try a mixture of mine. But we're definitely going to do stage one in the Harbor Freight Tumbler, and then I'm going to move on to my vibratory tumbler for the for the last three stages for sure. And what I don't know, a lot of people recommend different amounts of time in stage one. Some people say just one week. Some people don't run stage one at all. They just start in 220 grit. Definitely not going to do that. I want these more round than they are. Um, we're just going to kind of experiment and see how it goes. And we may fail miserably. Hopefully not. Hopefully we can get some cool things out of here. You can definitely see it's it's just a really cool rock. You get some really cool shimmering. It's called labradorescence. I don't know if that, that piece doesn't look similar at all. have less chance to beat each other up and then I'm gonna put a little bit of ceramic media in the first stage which I never do but for this rock being so temperamental I'm gonna give that a shot um, so I'll be right back so I filled the barrel about three quarters full and then finished almost to the top with some ceramic media now once this starts spinning it's gonna mix in and not be as full as it looks um, I did fill the water right about where the actual rocks end. You just can't see it through the media, but I'm going to put in three scoops of 6090 silicon carbide and then put this on the tumbler for a week and check it then. Thanks. Okay, it's been seven days on our load of Labradorite, so we're going to check what's going on here. Labradorite, I'm getting some clumps. I mean, nothing crazy. They're still loose in there, but just more leftover grit than normal. And I wonder if it's because I am cushioning it too much using the ceramics in the first stage. I wonder if that's causing it to not use up all the grit because it's not moving as much as it normally would. This set of rocks, I, I 
don't really have a goal here. I don't know exactly what shape I'm going to like. I know I don't want to go so long to get them perfectly round because they'll tend to break up and get a lot of cracks. This one, I'm going to run one more week. It's close though. If you remember, this is rainbow, the white stuff is rainbow moonstone, which is just another kind of labradorite. And if you can see in this area, it is getting some blue shine. That's really cool. This was our one random piece of peach moonstone. It needs more time. This one I'm going to move on. Most of the sharp, sharp edges are gone. This one I'm going to move on. You can tell it's one of the originals. It's got some cool effects in it. Actually, the first one I said I'm going to move on. I'm going to keep going one more week. This one's going to be done. This one... It's really cool. I'm going to call it done. That's a cool piece. Needs one more week though. One more week. That one's got some cool too though. One more week. Same. This one, I am going to move on. This one for sure needs another week. Hasn't even got all the moss off the rock. Same here. This one's going to be done. And when I say done, I mean done with stage one, obviously. Not even close. Done. These are harder to tell in the video, but right in here, there's some really cool blue coloring. Oh yeah, you can see it there. The moonstones are really pretty. I'm going to move this one on. Just a few more. And just before I forget, I'm going to add a little less grit this time. Just where we haven't been completely using up the grit. Maybe do two scoops instead of three. I'm going to move that piece on. One more week. This one's for sure done. It's nice and round. This piece is ready to move on. This piece isn't even close. So I'm going to see how much we have, and we may have enough to move on to round two. So, 
Here's how much we have ready to go on to round two. I'm going to keep running it for one more week. I'd like just a little bit more. But we're definitely making some progress. Um, I've got the tumbler back in. Loaded up with the ceramics. I am going to add a little bit more. Maybe a couple more pieces. I, with Labradorite, I do like to keep it pretty full. I guess I don't know what I want. This is the first time I've ever done it. But we're learning. <laughs> This piece caught my eye in the in the box. You can see some of that really pretty blue Labrador essence. Excited about that piece. That's got some cool stuff. We'll do one more. more of that blue. So, we'll load that up. Um, I'm going to just use two scoops of grit <clears throat> since we haven't been using all the grit. Um, that's not common with this. Normally I do use all the grit. I think it's just because I'm filling this so much and using so much ceramic to, to cushion it that it's not going through all the grit in the seven days. But I'm going to do two scoops, scoops of grit run it for seven more days and then we'll see okay so we are going on this is going to be our third week now with our labradorite this is the first time I've ever done this rock I'm kind of doing a mix of recipes that I found and we're just going to see how it works but I have ran a little bit of ceramic media in with it. Oh yeah, and there's also Rainbow Moonstone, which is the same thing as Labradorite, just white. see some good shimmers. So having never done this, I really don't know how smooth I want it to get. A lot of people say to only run it for one week. Other people only run it in stage two. I'm just trying it. This is going to be, this is the third week of stage one. And I think at a certain point I'm just going to have to move it on. I just don't know when that's going to be. Start moving some of these on. Got a little blue shimmer in that piece. of that blue shimmer in this piece. There's one I can 
can see some cool color. So I'm going to go through these. I think we're going to move a lot of them on. I know you don't want to get them perfectly round. But I think we're getting pretty close to where I want. So we have all of these. I think I am going to move on this week. It's not even close enough to start a batch of round two. So we'll add more into the barrel. Okay, we're on our seven day check of Labradorite. I kind of expect to have enough done this time to move on to stage two, but we'll see. Say that one. You gotta move on. I'm gonna keep that one going. Not ready. I'm gonna move this piece on. taking longer than normal because I'm not entirely sure what I want out of this Labradorite yet. There's so many conflicting opinions. This is my first try on it. I think I'm going to move that to stage two. This one I'm for sure going to move to stage two. This one stay it. We're moving on. Excuse me. Sorry, let me get my Here's what we have previously done. I'm just going to keep adding to it here. And I'm pretty much sure now that we're going to have enough to move on to stage two. That one's done. This one's ready to move on. I'll do the rest of these off camera and then show you what we have done at the end. Okay, so as I suspected, we had a lot done, um, and I think we've probably got a couple of pounds here, which is going to be enough for me to be happy to move on to stage two in the vibratory tumbler. So we'll see you there shortly. Okay, so we are getting ready to load our Labradorite into the vibratory tumbler for stage two, three, and four. Um, I've got them wet. I'm even going to add a little more ceramic if you just want it almost completely full. There's quite a few little spaces in here. So we're going to be using a sugar method in this case really good on rocks that have trouble to help soften everything and so I'm gonna add this is a five pound barrel so I'm gonna do five tablespoons of sugar doesn't have to be exact And this is supposed to thicken up the slurry a lot, uh, which helps the rocks not hit each other so hard. Soften the blows, I guess. So there's our sugar. And then we are just going to do two scoops. And by scoops, I mean tablespoons 
of 220 silicon carbide grit. Okay, I'll get the, the bowl mounted up and we'll show you how it's working. Okay, so we're just going to check now, make sure everything's moving okay. So we added so much sugar, I am going to put a little more water. Some of my ceramics were dry that I added the second time too. Let's see if that looks any better. Okay, so that's moving quite a bit better. So I'm just going to put the lid on. I'm going to check this in 24 hours and possibly be done with 220 in 24 hours. So we will see you tomorrow. Okay, so we just got the Labradorite out of stage two. And I've cleaned them each up individually with a toothbrush. They're definitely smoother. Still have a ways to go. Show you a couple of really cool ones. I don't see any issues yet. So far, everything looks good. Um, I'm gonna load up my ceramics, and then the same thing again. We're gonna do five tablespoons of sugar, um, and this time I'm only gonna do one tablespoon of 500 aluminum oxide grit. I'm gonna run that for 24 hours. We'll see you then. Okay, we are at 24 hours on our 500 grit, step three, and I have not added water and they've stayed really wet, almost almost like more water than I added, which is strange, but I'll show you how they're still moving. So, they still look good. Um, they're nice and smooth. I am going to change them on to the next step. Um, I'm, I normally don't do five steps, but I think I'm going to with this kind of rock. It will benefit from it. Um, so I have some of this, a lot of people use 1,000 aluminum oxide. I have some 1,200 aluminum oxide. This came as the final polish with a scent I was gifted. Um, but I, I just use it occasionally on certain stones if I want to do five stages. Um, so 1,000 aluminum oxide or 1,200 aluminum oxide will get the same result. I'm going to run 24 hours with that before moving on to the final polish. And I'll clean these up and show you what they're looking like first. Okay, so we've got them all cleaned off. I think they're actually looking surprisingly good, honestly. And I don't just mean how they shine, but just how smooth they are without any major fracturing. Now I think this is, the later we get is when these stones really start to have problems. But so far, I think they're looking really good. There's some, some of that blue shimmer in this moonstone that's just really cool. Um, I'm just going to keep going like I did, 24 hour cycles. I'm just going to load this the exact same as the last step. So we're going to do five tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of the 1200 aluminum oxide for 24 hours, and then we'll check on them again. Okay, so we've got our mixture in, we've got our grit and our sugar. We're just going to see how it's moving. Okay, turn it on. No, this one, honey. Oh.
interesting. Once that sugar gets down in the bottom, it really slows it down, which I guess that's exactly what it's supposed to do. And it's been working great so far. So we'll see it and check in 24 hours. Hi everyone, it's been 24 hours with our 1200 aluminum oxide. And just like last time, it seems extra wet, even though I did nothing different and added no water. But I'll just show you, they're still moving great. <laughs> I'm just going to get these out, um, get them washed off, and then we're going to take them to the Sonic Cleaner, which I do every time before we go to final polish. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay, I've got the Labradorite loaded in the Sonic Cleaner. I did not spend much time seeing how good it looks yet. I will after they're clean. I just like to keep them wet at this point. Um, for what it's worth, I have read from jewelry purposes to that a sonic cleaner um, for feldspar should not be used for hot water. So I'm just running cold water and dish soap in this load. Um, and feldspar, obviously Labradorite is feldspar. I don't know if that's sound advice for tumbling, but I'm just gonna take it easy, um, run 15 minutes, and then we'll get these laid out and take a look before we go into polish. Okay, they are out of the cleaner. And I would say that they are not looking any worse for wear so far. As far as how they looked before. This is probably my favorite one so far. And they are looking nice and shiny. That one's still wet. I dried this one off to see and they're, they are getting some shine. Just after the 1200 stage. But I'm just going to load these the exact same way. Uh, five scoop or five uh, tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of aluminum oxide polish, 24 hours, and we'll check on you then. Okay, we're at 24 hours on our final polish. I don't know if it's something about the sugar mixture, but the rocks seem a lot less slurry than normal. It almost looks like I've already washed them, but I have not. But we're gonna get them out and clean them up get them in the sonic cleaner and dried and then we'll see how we did okay we've got everything loaded in our cleaner so far I would say we probably have a pretty successful batch as far as Labradorite goes um, just a reminder with this rock I do run it in cold this time I put in a tablespoon of borax I'll put it in a little tiny bit of dish soap as well I'm gonna run it for 30 minutes then we'll dry them off and take a look. Okay, here's the final results of the Labradorite. I would say overall, compared to what I usually see from these, that we got a successful batch. I don't see any of the major cracking and shattering and fracturing that you see with a lot of batches of these being tumbled. Um, but I have split them into three groups. These are the ones I like that I'm keeping. These are ones that polished just fine, but there really just isn't a whole lot of shine to them. It's kind of a crapshoot when you don't get to pick your own. If you just buy the Labradorite, you get what they send. And those pieces turned out fine, but they just don't have a lot of great color. And these pieces, I mean, they all polished fine, but they all have some little issues. And so I'm gonna put these in a future batch and just start back over at stage two maybe even stage one to break them down. I've decided that I didn't damage these any worse than I thought running them for longer in stage one. So I think I may try a batch and go even longer and get them more rounded how I usually would like them, just to see how it works. Here's a good example. This one broke a piece off during the polish stage. It didn't hurt anything else, but I would just grind this down and start this one over in a future batch. I mean, I'm being pretty picky on some of these bad ones. Just got a little corner that's gonna break off right here. And so I'm just gonna rerun those at a later time. I'll show you just some examples. So like, you can see this one has a little color right there. None of the major fractures and cracking. It's just not that spectacular of a piece. Here's another example. 
took a really good shine. Just doesn't have any color. It's a mostly boring gray rock. So that's most of this pile. I say that and then there is some color. They're just not my favorite. But let's take a close look at my favorites. I think some of them turned out really cool. As you can see, they all took a really nice shine. This one's really cool. It has like a, almost a champagne color. This one's kind of beat up, but it has really good color on two sides. Hard to find it in this light. This is probably the best example of the cracking that you normally see, just on a little edge here. I may even cut that off on that line you can see, and this will be a really good piece. Here's a piece of the moonstone. We'll see if I can, if you can see the little flash in this area. It gets really, really cool. I really like these pieces. They get kind of a blue rainbow flash. This is probably the best overall piece. It got some shine on all the sides of it. Really dark blue, purple there. But yeah, that's probably my favorite one just because this is this is what gives me hope that maybe I can go full smooth. We're gonna try a, a batch later just to see. It may be end up worse. These are about as good as I've seen come out of a tumbler. Really nice there. They're really cool. Really cool rock. It's hard to get on camera. The color, there you go. You can see a lot of that blue in this one. As you can see on the Moonstone, that too, they also took an excellent polish. This one doesn't have any of the color, but it just is really pretty. There's some of that blue. Got a cool corner there. Love that one. And the last one, one more piece of rainbow moonstone. So yeah, that's it for a first time ever trying this. I think they turned out pretty well. I haven't seen a whole lot get much better results without just completely destroying the rock. But let me know if, you've, if you'd change anything or how you've got things to work. I am going to try another batch here soon. Thanks.